Hello, and welcome to Lizard Tech. So, today I think that we can try to maybe fix our problem with not being able to have enough resources. By that, I mean get a digital miner. And probably get some more power as well, since we don't seem to have that done yet. Well, actually, let's do the power first. I was thinking about doing the digital miner for now, but I think maybe it's time to look into a reactor. Come on, okay. So what we need is a lot of these graphite bars and a lot of these yellowium ingots. So let's go and grab some wood from our farm and let me get a tank. We have an empty one, that's good. Because, uh, this tank's full. <laughs> Completely. So I'm wondering if it'll just let me... There we go. Um, this thing's gonna fill up very, very quickly, I think. Okay, what's up with all the lag? that I might need a better CPU to constant to... I... I forgot the word that I was... It was on the tip of my tongue. I was even saying it, and then I forgot what it was. Okay, never mind that then. T okay, it was... Compensate. So maybe to compensate for my new graphics card, I also need, um, um, why can't I think today? I also need a better CPU, there we go. Oh, it's fading. That's not very good for us. But, uh, this hungry node, I think we'll do stuff with that later. I just wanted to get it now. And um, I came up with an idea for how you might be able to be able to get that legit. Ah, with relative ease. So you need to surround the node in obsidian. And then on top of that obsidian, you need to place uh, autonomous activators or block placers, whichever, on each piece of obsidian with glass in them. And then just leave on the top. There will be one one space where you can't have an autonomous activator on it without being able to put the slabs back down. So you'll leave that space open, and the rest of it you'll place the autonomous activators and stuff. And then there you'll place your final piece of glass and the slabs. That you can pre-place the slabs, and then all you have to do is compete to place that one glass block in slabs before it destroys them. And then just don't click twice. <laughs> so that's an easier way of doing that than what I did. And I would have gone and done that if we hadn't lost all our stuff and not and weren't able to, to get that back anyway. I guess I could have gone back in the video and looked at what we had, but you know. So, charcoal. This furnace, it might be a good idea to upgrade our furnaces too. Maybe not be too bad. There we go. Nice. And let's just put the, the, the charcoal that gets done by these furnaces back in, so we don't have to do that later. And yeah, okay. So to upgrade our furnaces, load, okay, here we go. 
electric furnace. We need compressed steel and compressed aluminium and an advanced wafer. So let's grab all the stuff for that. Actually, I could have probably seen it in there. Let's go back back to that. Um, we're gonna need a furnace. Actually, we're gonna probably want to make a few. So, so we got five in here. I don't think we need to replace all those. We probably need two in here, and then the five that are in the furnace room. So that's how many we want to make. We want to make seven of these. And then we're going to need these advanced wafers, so diamond. Unfortunately, I can't just shift click that in there. Seven diamonds, though. How many advanced wafers do we get for one diamond? One. I don't really know if this is worth seven diamonds. <laughs> okay, let's hold out on that until we get our digital miner. Because we might, we might need that for our digital miner. Or a working digital miner, should I say. Like with power and transport and everything. Because we could probably get the digital miner right now, but we can't. We, well, we might be able to afford a solar panel for it. But then, getting the materials back to base is going to require more stuff into Thawncraft. So, I thought that we were close enough to get to that point, but... It turns out we're not. Nice. Okay. Hmm. So we already have some graphite bars in here. What? How are we for Eulorium? Okay, we have a decent amount of Eulorium. Hmm. It's windy outside. Okay. So what do we want to do then? There's three different things that we need. I guess you can make the solar panel. And check on the quarry for some more resources. Let's do that. Where's the quarry? Did I turn it off? I shouldn't have turned it off. There it is. Okay. There's some coal down there. And some tin. Are you done? No, you're still mining. This is full. Tin, copper, let's just grab all the... All the useful stuff. I don't know that's really super useful right now. Yeah, I shouldn't say useful stuff. I, sh I should say super useful stuff. Peanuts. Eat some of these or not right now. Uh, I'll grab them. In case we need to like... Nah, I'll come back and grab them. <laughs> Ooh, lots of copper there. Some amber, which I'm not super interested in now, but I guess we can pick it up. Tin, more copper. Nice. Wow, this Galacticraft copper seems to be a lot less common than the rest of these. That makes me pretty annoyed at the people who made Galacticraft, especially since that one requires so many, so many of those ores. Oh, order shards. I want, I want those. <laughs> those are pretty useful. Um, service quartz? Yeah. Tin. Copper? Actually, do we have that type of tin already? Yes, we do. Uh, I just got a message. But I'm not going to respond now. Ah, oh, so many, so many different things here. Let me see if I can quickly do this. Because I know it's going to take a while if I do it the current way. Mm. Okay, well I think that's the bulk of what we have. But you can see how slow this core is right now. I think it's mainly because it doesn't have enough power. Maybe we could use a chunk loader also. Yeah. 
that may be a problem. Let's go back home. We didn't get very much from going there, but that's okay. <clears throat> All that stuff should find its way into the Emmy. How how get are we? Thirty-nine. So we've not used too many of our bites either. That's good. But there are, there are a lot of, there is a lot of junk in here that shouldn't be in here. Usually what I like to do is I like to have an Emmy system and then the um, the RF tools system nearby because that, unlike the ME system, uses chests, like nearby chests. If I can find it. Um, storage scanner, I think. Is that it? This machine will scan all your inventory since. I don't think that that's what it is. It might be. Crafter. RF monitor, look at my power. Dimlet filters. I don't know, it might be a storage scanner. What are these? Dimensional blank blocks. Okay. Yeah, I guess that must be it. Oh no, modular storage, that's it. This modular storage system can store a lot of items allowing easy, easy searching and filtering. You must first insert a storage module item before you can use it. And remote storage. So how do you make this? Seems pretty simple. Hmm. Okay, well, we can think about that later. It's not important now. It's time for us to go to sleep. Yep. Let's check on how that graphite's doing. And I guess at least one part of the of the process would be okay for now. I can show you all this mechanism stuff that we have. So atomic alloys, we're gonna need obsidian. Which is diamond and obsidian dust in the enricher. We have six obsidian here. Now we're going to check outside for how many was was made over here. Probably not very many. I don't suppose we have very much power. Yeah. That's a problem. We could also try making more wind turbines, but that's just like our base power. Hmm. There are things we could do about that, but... Yeah. Sure, let's do that. We're gonna make a hemp farm. Coming into this thinking that we're gonna make a digital miner, and we make a hemp farm. So we want our harvester. We're gonna need some MV, MV cables. Do we not have any more wires? Oh no, we have some wires. Uh, what are the poles called? Post is what it is, not a pole. And some probably energy cables. Redstone energy flux ducts. Yeah, we're going to need a fluid duct as well. We're going to need a servo. Nice. Actually, I might not need a servo. 
type in duct. We need, yes, item ducts. We need all three of these. Uh, how about this? We, oh, we already expanded that. Okay. And uh, we're going to need to add some more machines down over a mechanism area. So I'm going to add I'm going to add some more wire behind the metallurgic infuser, which is this thing. Why are you still running? You shouldn't still be running. Okay, wait. I guess that's going to sort itself out for now. <laughs> but this is done 19 to ingots. Did we already take this stuff out? I guess we must have. Because I just remember there being a lot of stuff going in here. Okay. So I didn't want to have this thing going across the center here. That's not very good looking. What I was going to do was I was going to run some cables. I was going to run this cable along the wall down here. So that later we can fill it in with microblock panels. But then I found out that you can't use. Wait, what happened? Okay, we can't use microblock panels on these conduits because something changed since uh, Tekken, apparently. Which I, I'm okay with, I guess. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying. So we're gonna run this like that. Which is gonna need to be one block in. Like this kind of thing. I'm gonna need the uh, I'm gonna need the hydrogen export, so. So from here on, we can go underneath the ground. I'm going to do the same over here. Kendra Knight! There we go. We don't have enough cables. Well, that's that done and gone. Um, and a reason why I don't just want to use these cables everywhere, even though they're less expensive. Okay, get, I, I thought that I just had my microphone up and I hadn't turned it back on. Um, the reason why I want to use those cables is because the ones that we have now don't copy. When you copy your world, you have to replace them all. And if we miss one when we have to replace them, that's a big problem. And because they seem to favor like specific position positioned ones and we're low on redstone apparently okay we need some more redstone do we have any ore? no right we don't have a silk touch So that'll get us more cables. Meanwhile, let's grab some stone bricks and some pumpkins. Okay, just stone bricks then. Oh, okay, well we can make some stone bricks. Uh, let's go three stacks. And then pumpkins. Lots of pumpkins. We have to make a pumpkin farm eventually because I like using these as torches. At least for our farm area. I'll use these uh, Project Red lamps later. I wasn't trying to show you anything, so I don't think that I was missing it or something. torches back. There we go. Okay, now we should be set for that. 
Actually, we probably want an upgrade on this harvester. What kind of upgrades do we have? I'm thinking a three times upgrade, an iron one. I don't know, I don't want to do an iron one. Uh, tin or copper? That could be good. Let's go copper. We have a ton of copper. There we go. Nice. Hello, flax plants. Are not flax plants. I thought they were flax plants, but they're not. They're hemp. These flowers can go over here. It's just the product of us using our uh, watering can. <laughs> Which we might have wanted to grab, but... Oh, we'll see. So we're going to kind of do the same... Uh, I need some dirt. We're going to kind of do the same thing as I did with the... Um, and the sugar cane farm, but with the hemp seeds. And it's going to be slightly different. It's going to be larger. I know that for sure. And I didn't want to search sugar. I wanted... Why can't I think today? I don't know. Why can't... I guess I can't ever think. <laughs> Dirt. Dirt is what I wanted. Two stacks of it should be good. And... Oh. It's two redstone per... Well, that's annoying. Especially since we're super low on redstone. I think I already came to that realization, but I just didn't bother. Let's go and hook up our machines first. Make sure that they can run. Hello, creosote. There are definitely a lot of things that we need to do for automation around here. Please tell me I have one wire left. Oh, no, I don't. The reason why that's annoying is because I need to make... I need, I need another one to power the, um, the digital miner when I get it. Hold on a second. Hello, I'm back. 
hopefully I cut that. Because that did take a while. So, what were we doing? We were okay to blink up our farm. And I need to grab a bucket. And we need one more cable. Bucket. Two. Sure. I got something in my teeth. It's being annoying. There we go. There's our cable. And it's not time. Of course it is. There we go, that's better. So how we want to plan this? Uh, I probably need to, need to go grab some farmland as well. Probably shovel. Uh, there's so much stuff we need. Okay. <laughs> so making a shovel might be more difficult. What was that? Was that shiny metal? It was. Hmm. Could try to make a shiny metal shovel, but... I don't see that being too great. Ah, she's use her hand. Can't be too bad. try to quickly make one out of uh, flint, but that wouldn't really work very well. Let's restock on berries, get some farmland, and we'll just punch stuff out with our hand. Do I have blackberry? Because uh, for those of you who didn't know, which I think would be everyone, something in the mod pack update that I did broke the ability to hoe land, which is kind of weird, but it happened, so you have to use farmland. Like, I have to go over here and ask Royal for some, and he gives it to me for free, because that's kind of a weird thing to happen. Otherwise it still grows, so I don't understand what's up with that. Hello, Mr. Tree. You know what? I'm going to turn this guy off. Just make sure that it fills the smeltery. Fendral Knight. I'm so annoyed by these. I really don't like them. But there are things from their mod that I do like. Which is why I'm super annoyed that they added the Kindred Knights. We're going to do kind of the same thing with what we did for the tree farm over there. And how we're going to have to have a platform or some some stairs that come down into it. Yeah, that'll be pretty, pretty cool. Simply because the land that this started on was lower. And it'll add some depth to our buildings. thinking like a line of water here and a line of water here or just one down the center one down the center is probably better for us so if we have the harvester here and the normal radius is like this so with the four times upgrade it's gonna go to about there probably spread this out one if we wanted to. There we go. That might be different though because my, my calculations for the tree farm are wrong, so maybe the same here. I could try placing it and looking at what it is, but I don't, I don't think that that's too important. There 
we're just going to go out one more. And then we're going to curve in. And I know that it's a square, and that we don't have to have all these curves. But uh, I like the curves. Let's place our harvester, and it's going to punch down a wood block so we can make a crafting table. And at some point, we also have to do some decoration for our buildings, but I think we have some more important things to do. Especially if we want to use like any metal blocks in our building, then uh, we're going to need some ability to mine those quickly enough. Okay. Let's make that crafting table. Oh, there's something that I forgot to do. Darn it. Um, I forgot to upload today's episode. That's not very good. Maybe I'll get around to doing that while I'm doing homework. And something changed in the time that the time that I stop recording. Because now, for whatever reason, doing has become one of my favorite words. Well, it's not my favorite word, like, according to me, but <laughs> I seem to be saying it a lot, for whatever reason. And, uh, I don't, I don't really know why. I need to go and grab another piece of wood. It makes sense when I use it in a sentence, though, so... Even though I'm saying it a lot more than I used to, maybe it means that I'm being more productive than I used to, even though I doubt that. I need to grab a piece of cobblestone. Uh, wait, what are these? Water gardens. What are they, what are they doing here? Okay, well, let's see if we can find a piece of stone, like, against a wall over here. Nice. Okay. And now we should be good for that way. Put a lever on the front. And, oh, the harvest needs to be one higher. Okay, now be annoyed. <laughs> and when this pow when this has power, it should shear down those. Shouldn't really need to test it. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm And it might, be, it might be a good idea to make a strong box or something to hold it. Hold all the stuff. Maybe even some barrels. We haven't made any barrels. Let's make some of those. That'll be much better for this. We don't have any slabs or chests. I wouldn't expect that we would. Okay, two chests. Ah! <laughs> Slab. Sure, let's just make more slabs. And did it say you can make four chests with this pattern? Hmm. I don't know what adds that, but... Okay, and we, we need a tank, don't we? So how are we for glass? Oh we have some we have some glass, we have some obsidian I think. So what about the open blocks tanks? Because those are my those are my favorites. Whoa, major lag. 
Maybe it would be better to type in open blocks then. There we go. Because <laughs> I know that the uh, the mechanism tanks cause a lot of lag in that kind of sense. Someone just walked in the room. Yes, I know it's right. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can place the tanks um, here. It's probably good. I wonder if that automatically outputs. No, that doesn't look right. What about there? That kind of fits. Um, item duct on the back and two better barrels. Maybe maybe having them off to the side here would look good. I'd say that looks pretty good. So now if you get power over here. That should auto fill auto fill these barrels barrels. Or we could just put our stuff in there and lock it. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> and the nearest power cable was too far away. Can we make any more of these? How hard are these? You more treated wood. Okay. First, we gotta go to sleep. Good night. And what a glorious morning! Hello, zombie. Where are you? underneath the ground. Well, he seems to be quiet where he went, so... Okay. You have seven empty bottles. These ones didn't stack. Well, never mind. We gotta make some treated wood. And we should be able to make 24 of those, yes. And I totally didn't just say that after I figured out what the number was and I totally made the calculations in my head. Okay. <laughs> So we have 24 of those, and some stone bricks, and make these into sticks. And voila, we have more energy, energy stuffs. Wooden posts, as they're called. Well, I think that this episode's about over. If you've liked, then yay. You can hit that like button. Or you can leave if you didn't. Goodbye!